guys, welcome to my Friday studio session squeaky chair video. <laughs> so I wanted to share something really important. Um, instead of just like playing an instrument, showing you my setup, I wanted to talk about if you are doing music um, or planning on doing music, what's helped me so much is um, setting up some templates and 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 blocking my time so when I'm actually doing sessions um, and I'm mostly doing my own music or library music so I'm not really producing other people at this moment once in a while I record vocals for somebody but um, I, it's not a full production um, of the mixing and everything but I'm not you know I'm not like doing the actual track, they usually come in but like with an MP3 or something. Um, so what's helped me a lot is and I wanted to share that is that when you are doing sessions um, for libraries or for yourself and you're writing songs or you're collaborating, right, I do that a lot too, it's um, knowing what you're going for in advance and what kind of instruments you plan on using, I'm talking virtual instruments, is going to save you a lot of time in the, in, in the long run and um, what I've been doing and it, it took me a while to figure this out but I have a lot of instruments I have complete 11 from Native Instruments which I love um, but I never really spent the time to learn the instruments so when I'm in a time crunch I have a deadline what do I do I go to Omnisphere I go to Nexus because I know these instruments better right but in a way, it limits me because I'm not using everything I have. And not saying that you always have to use everything you have, but to change up your sound, to, to be a little more versatile, you know, use what you've got. So I blocked my time that I spend a certain amount, instead of like me opening a session and working on a session and I find the sound I love, but I need to edit it, but I don't really know how to edit it, right? So now I have to try to learn the instrument while I'm trying to create and that's kind of a conflict in your brain so instead of doing that what I'll do is I will spend half an hour before I start working on music I will start learning an instrument I plan on probably using more like Massive from Native Instruments Massive is amazing it's been around for a long time and the player is so deep it goes really deep I mean you can create your own sounds you can manipulate pretty much anything um, but you need to know what you're doing kind of I mean I think there's a fine line between knowing the instrument and then also experimenting right so like you kind of like going with the flow and like all of a sudden it's happy mistake happens and you're like oh my god I love this um, but what if you really want to manipulate it like you want to put some arpeggiator on it and you just don't know how to do it that's frustrating because you know the sound you want and you, ha you hear the sound but you cannot manipulate it the way you want it. So that helped me a lot to kind of block time to, okay, learning an instrument and now I'm just like totally just creating. And when I create, sometimes I, I know that I may not stick with that sound. I'm, I may be like, I'm gonna change that sound up later, but that's kind of what I'm going for. Um, because I think the creative process, the most important thing is to kind of let everything you have come out first. The idea as close to what you really want. Um, and then later on perfect that in the, in the full production, not in a pre-production. So obviously like if you can find the exact sound you want right from the start, it's even better because the more you can do upfront and during the process, the less work there's going to be at the end, right? Um, and I learned that from working with the producer, Eric Ron, that he was like so amazing because he would just kind of mix while he was kind of writing and, and, and recording and doing it. It was just amazing how fast he was. I was so impressed by that. And also committing, right? Because a lot of times we are not committed. We're like, ah, oh, this is kind of cool, but I'm not sure. Maybe I can find something better or different. No, commit to it. It's like, do you like it or you don't? Does it work or does it not work? Does it turn you on or is it just blah, right? If it's just blah and it doesn't excite you, it's not the right sound, it's not the right melody. Um, and I've learned that the hard way too because sometimes you just wanna get it done. 
but just getting it done is like mediocre right so you you, you want to make sure that what you're doing is like exciting it is something you can stand behind you can play for someone and be proud of and excited about versus like yeah I could have changed that I hate when people do that and I've done it too I could, I could have changed that or like yeah I meant to do something different there no when I'm playing a track for somebody I don't want to have any excuses I don't want to have any out could have would have should have if could have should have would have exists that means I'm not done with the track it doesn't excite me enough it's not quite there yet if you're really stuck on a song sometimes I'll get stuck I'm like I don't like it but I can't figure out what it needs I just don't know I you know I, I'm stuck I just don't know then I'll go to somebody else and say hey do you want to collaborate do you want to help me with this you know um, and I think collaboration is so important because first of all you have somebody else with a different point of view and different experiences different different you know style they can add a lot of value to your production and I've learned that the hard way um, you know when you first start out you, you think you're doing everything right you know everything and now I'm like I know nothing like you know I mean? show me how it's gonna be better and it's been really good for me actually to like be open-minded to other people's ideas um, so that is the the, probably the best solution if you are not happy and you cannot figure out what could make the song better that means okay I need some spice that I just don't have so I have to bring somebody else in that has that spice you know what I mean um, so I wanted to share that because I think it's so important for us producers singer songwriters a lot of times we just get stuck and it's it's frustrating when you have an amazing song in your hands and you're like God, it's so good, but it's one little thing, it's just missing, you know, and you can't figure it out. And instead of struggling on your own, getting someone else involved, mostly, if not all of the time, will solve the problem. Um, and yeah, putting a template, having templates for specific genres is gonna help because this way you're gonna know that, okay, if I'm gonna do like a drone track, this is the template I'm gonna use. I already have a bunch of instruments lined up that are drone instruments if I'm going to do like an EDM production I have already like a bunch of tracks lined up that are perfect for my EDM production and it doesn't mean I'm always going to use the same sounds but I have the instruments open that give me those sounds and I have the instruments open then that I know how to use because if I don't know how to use them I'm going to lose my creativity because I'm going to get frustrated I'm going to be like sitting here like you know we talk about the massive thing like shit like I love the instrument I just don't know how, to, how it works and I'm still learning I, I feel like you know I'm just like a work in progress I'm every day I get better the more I work on something the better I get and I watch YouTube videos all the time on, on things how to improve my production how to improve my drum sounds or like even like programming drums I think there's always something you can learn from other people um, and then you know mix it up with what you already know that's gonna be the best advice I can ever give you like don't ever think you know everything don't ever be like closed-minded like thinking that my way or the highway you know it's like be open to other possibilities and other ways of maybe like timing phrasing different words different melodies be open-minded to that because unless you really like oh my god this is the best song ever right if you really feel that in your heart then you're probably right it's probably a really amazing song and if you play it for some people that you actually don't know and they agree with you then you're definitely onto something if you're playing it for your mom and your dad not my parents because my parents would be brutally honest saying I don't like this at all <laughs> but most most parents will be like I love whatever you do right and um, it's, it's a biased kind of opinion so don't don't take their advice necessarily um, totally to heart because they may just love you and anything you do they love and there's nothing wrong with that but if you want to make money in the industry if you want to really like you know appeal to the masses then we have to be a little more compromising so this is my studio session uh, video for today I just wanted to shed some light on before we even start doing anything 
um, that's kind of my process. I, I tend to just like really try to block time and, and, and you know, get my mind first, like, okay, what am I gonna work on and what sounds will I need, what instruments am I gonna use? And, and sometimes I also force myself to use instruments I've never used just to step outside of the box. You know, but it can get frustrating because I might have to learn something about that instrument first. Um, but at the same time, it can be really kind of adventurous because you may come up with something really cool that you, because you just didn't know. And you're like, oh my God, this is awesome. You know, so, so always keep an open mind. I think there's not one way um, for anything in life really, you know, that's, it's, it's really, it's really about staying open-minded, being experimental, and doing what works for you. Because when people say, this is how you do it, this is how this is done, you know, there is no one way. There is, everybody's different, everybody learns different, everybody works different, has a different workflow, a different thinking pattern. And you gotta work with what you've got, you know what I mean? And then stay open-minded, but work with what you've got. And I think as long as you're willing to learn you can't go wrong because what works for one person may not work for another person. So there is, it's, it's a really fine line and there's no, it's like songwriting, you know, that there, there are rules, but they are meant to be broken because if everybody would follow the rules, it would be so freaking boring. You know what I mean? Um, so have fun producing if you're a producer. I just wanted to really share um, some of all the process that people don't really hear, you know, people don't really think about that goes into making a record or working on a project. It's not just, you know, getting in a studio and plugging it in and playing. Sometimes it is. Again, it's not just one thing. But um, when you do film TV stuff or when you're working on your own project, a lot of times you have an idea of what you want to do and you go in with a clear vision and 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 kind of a concept of what am I going to use, what, I, what do I want to do. And then of course, you know, be spontaneous and use stuff that you haven't planned. I hate planning, but at the same time, it's also good, like me knowing that, okay, I, I know this sound would co totally work for that. And then, you know, twist it and turn it a little bit and then get some collaborators in and just make magic. Because at the end of the day, you know, we always want to do what we love and, and live our purpose, live our calling and share that with the world because that's really our duty as artists as people in general whatever you're calling is if it's not music it may be you know your dentist you you a painter you are a fashion designer you are a heart surgeon you know whatever it is you're doing you have a mission and you have a goal a purpose a purpose more so than the goal you have a purpose to to help somebody to to enlighten somebody and so that's how i feel as a musician anyway i hope you're having a great weekend and i will talk to you on monday when i play you some new stuff on music monday you have an amazing weekend thank you for watching if you haven't yet please subscribe i'm open to comments if you think this sucks let me know if you loved it and you will hear more about a specific topic let me know and i'll talk more about it in detail and whatever suggestions you have I am listening. Have a great weekend. Bye. Thank you.